Hello and welcome to another winter series video. I hope you all are doing great and staying safe. In my last video, I told you about winter clothing and how to dress up properly before you step out of your home. If you haven't checked that video yet, then do click the link in the description box below. And also if you are watching this video and haven't subscribed to this channel, then do hit the subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to tell you 5 essentials that almost everyone follows here if they are driving a car in Canada. I personally would suggest you if it's snowing or there's a forecast for freezing rain then try not to go outside unless of course it's urgent. But if weather is bright and clear, the roads are dry then you would definitely like to go out and enjoy with your loved ones. So without any further delay, let's start today's video. The first and foremost are the winter tires. So if you have summer tires on, then switching to winter tires well in time, maybe around October will be a wise decision. Some people buy all season tires and never switch, which is also okay. Driving in winter can be difficult with regular summer tires since they are not able to grip the road well and can be slippery. The next one is all season windshield washer. When temperature goes much below the freezing point here, the normal water will really be of no use in clearing the windshield glass. Do not even try to fill the washer fluid reservoir with water. It will freeze and will cause trouble. The third essential step that everyone follows here is to turn on the car 15 to 20 minutes before the time you want to leave, especially when it is super cold and the temperature is minus 10 or minus 20, so the engine gets enough time to warm up. This is usually when you don't have a garage. Yes, I agree, you have to wake up quite early for that. So for this purpose, there are block heaters available here, which can be plugged into the car to make the engine start easily. Also these days you can get a self starter key so you can simply start your car from inside without even coming out in cold. Many cars also have upgraded facilities like heated seats or heated steering wheel which can be turned on at the same time for comfortable driving. Now while your car is warming up from inside it's time to clean up the car from outside as well. If you don't have a garage or if the car is parked outside then you would not like to skip this part. Snow brush or ice scrapers like these are used for the exterior of the car. Also there are such gloves available here at various stores which can be used to scrape the ice. And not to forget the driveway or walkways. A townhouse that has a driveway and needs snow clearance should be taken care of as well. Using a shovel or a snow blower, snow can be cleared because leaving snow as it is on the walkway might lead someone slipping over it which can cause you paying a fine. Once the snow is removed then the salt can be used only in areas to be cleared up to help avoid ice formation. And last but not the least road safety. The basic thing you have to keep in mind is just to or drive slowly and also not to press the brake very hard it's simply just like press and release sometimes when the snowfall is happening continuously you can't even see these lanes on the road so then it's very difficult but I think the only thing you have to keep in mind is to be slow and safe Good control on your car. This is how uh, the snow becomes black ice if it is left for a long time and it is not cleared which is again risky if you are driving or walking on this. That's why I told you that winter tires are must because they keep good control of your car. Since we live in a condo and have underground parking facility, so we skip couple of essentials that I told you today. We don't have to clean up car when we leave the house nor do we have any driveways or walkways and also we need not warm up the car for that long. This was one of the reasons why we chose an apartment over a townhouse. So 
so guys drive safe and enjoy beautiful canadian winter and if i missed on something important then do let me know in comments below till the next video comes up bye bye <laughs>